everyone, and welcome to Home Matters, where every day will help you make the most of your time and money. I'm Susan Powell, and I'm so glad you joined us. On today's show, let's go fly a kite. We'll show you how to make a simple, inexpensive Japanese kite, then we'll head for the park to fly our new creation for fun and relaxation. Welcome back. Who says kites are only for kids? My next guest will show us how to muscle in on the kids' turf by learning how to make and fly our own kites for fun and relaxation. Felix Cartagena, kite enthusiast and member of the American Kite Flyers Association, is here to show us how to make a simple, inexpensive Japanese kite that really flies. Hi, Felix. Thank you Hello. for being here. What are the materials that we need to start making a kite? Okay, this kite you can use Tyvek which is often found in FedEx envelopes, uh, also is used for house wrapping, so you might find it uh, in the housing industry. Also, you can use rice paper found at art stores or wrapping paper. This is Mylar wrapping paper, which I found at a uh, party store. And the first step is? Okay, we have one set up here. Now, I've used black tape so we can see what we're doing. Uh, normally, I would use clear wrapping tape. And, but uh, for television purposes, we're going to use we're black. Gonna use black. Okay, before we start, you want to decorate your kite. You can use crayon, you can use uh, magic marker, uh, acrylic paint, but just make it big, make it bold, make it colorful. Uh, once up in the sky, you would entirely lose very small stuff. And you want to cut it out, obviously, before you start to decorate Correct. it. All right, what is the first thing you do here? Okay, uh, for pocketing on the kite, I wanted to make it simple, so I used straws, soda straws. Easy. And what I'm doing with the soda straws, I take one about an inch long, bend it over a quarter of an inch, and then I have some double-sided tape. Now, there's two things you can do with the double-sided tape here. Get that for you. And it, you just wrap that around so that it sticks together. Right, and it holds the pocket, but it also does another thing that you're able to place this on the kite. Now, you have four corners, and you want to place this exactly in the center this way. I see. And how many of these pockets are we going to make? Okay, we, we need, need for six, one for each corner and one for the center spar. Now, uh, we, we're using these to put these dowel rods in? Correct. These dowels are eighth inch dowels. The kite is 17 inches by 22 inches. So we need three dowels, 22 inches by an eighth inch. Before we go on, secure that one like you did the rest of these. Okay. Show us how to do that. On the corners, you need to do one little special step, which is to trim the tape. So you're just placing that black tape right over so that. So I'm cutting corner to corner like that. And then that way, we can just fold this over like this. Okay. And that completes the pocket. And then you're able to put the dowel rod in it. OK, so we have a center spar. We also have the other ones, which I soak these for about two minutes in water uh, to soften them up, and then carefully bent them. You probably want to use more sticks than you really need uh, doing this, because you may break one or two. <laughs> so once you have them pre-bent, you just slide one in, and then come over to this side and place it in here. Uh -huh. I see what you, I see those, are, that's really secure too, those little straw pockets. Now to really uh, punch it down, you need to tie it. And we have uh, another kite here that we've already done that. Right, this one's a little bit further along where he's shown us where to secure these. Now you can see we've tied it here and here. And also I put some extra tape on here uh, to hold the uh, kite together a little bit better. So this looks great. What is the next step? Uh, the next step would be uh, to put the bridle on. Now at the top What's of the, the bridle, the bridle is the point of the kite where you attach your string. This is very simple. It's a one point bridle, very easy. So we have another kite here uh, prepared that we're ready to put the bridle on. Is a one, uh, one bridle kite easier to handle than a three bridle or four bridle kite? <laughs> Uh, not if they're properly bridled. Oh, okay. So there's a there's a proper way to do it. Now, how do we how do we put one on our home matters kite? Which okay. We very much appreciate your decorating. At the crossbar, uh, from the other side, you want to punch a hole, and then uh, once you have your hole, I made up a just a little piece of wire here to fish through. And this is just a, this could be a a needle threader. Needle threader. Oh, okay. So we can just uh, punch through the hole. Just do it. <laughs> Okay. Come out on this side. Now, I made a bridle string. I put a loop in it, 
and what we need to do is fish it through. So you fish it through this little needle threader. Easy. Okay, and we'll pull it through from the other side. Let's see, this is kind of like uh, embroidering. Let's flip this over. So you put that, pull that all the way through, and then tie it off, Felix. And tie it off. You want to go one side. Put it on one side of those. Yeah, of those your, rods. Of your dowels. Okay. Okay. Tie this in a knot. Now, my philosophy on knots is if you can't tie good ones, tie lots of them. <laughs> I if like I, that if, philosophy. If I need a special knot, I usually go back to the books because I can never remember them. So, that so should now be we have our bridle. Nice and secure. And that's a good sturdy string that you're using there too. Yes. Right. And then, are you ready to fly the kite as One it One more thing. We need a tail. Oh, my favorite part. So we'll flip that back over. This can be and very creative. I'm going to. I chose to a uh, a red crepe paper tail. Red if that's crepe okay. paper. What other kinds of materials could you use for a tail on a kite? Well, you can use what's called surveyor's tape. That's a plastic tape found on construction sites. Sure. You find that in hardware stores, and you can just whip that off and uh, attach sure. it. Sure. Well, how do you attach this? Okay, the... you need a piece of tape on each end, and just down at the bottom. And once again, when you're decorating a kite, do you need to take anything into consideration? Like, are there any limits as far as what you can decorate it with? Uh, you can use just about anything. Uh, there's a technique with Tyvek called TNT, Tyvek and tissue, where you would cut out your tissue and paste it on. So you would have an applique. Beautiful. I kite. love our Home Matters kite, and I can't wait to go kite flying with you. And up next, we'll have the true test. Felix and I are actually going to take our kite and send it soaring. So don't go away. Welcome back to Home Matters. Our expert, Felix Cartagena, just taught us how to make a kite. Now comes the big test. Can it fly? Better yet, can I learn how to fly it? So Felix, how difficult is it to fly a kite? Well, it depends on the kite, depends on the wind. You want to use light wind kites for lighter winds, and as it gets heavier, you get into the heavier kites. What kind of string are you using here, and how is it attached? Well, this is actually kite string on a kite spool, which makes it easy to wind up. I'm using a fishing swivel, and that way you can attach it to any kite you want. You can uh, just take it off and move it instead of having it tied on. Great idea. So is that all I need to get started? Well, there's a few things you want to do when you're out on the field. Uh, you want to use sunscreen if it's warm and dress appropriately. Uh, you want to look around the field, make sure there's no obstacles. Uh, How important is the location? Well, it's important that the field is relatively flat, wide open, relatively devoid of trees. However, if you do get a kite caught in a tree, you want to let a little string out, maybe it'll fly out. Uh, but if that doesn't work, leave it there. And it's also true if you get it caught in a power line, leave it in the power line. Call the power company, they're more than happy to come out and take it out. They, they don't want to see anybody uh, getting hurt. Um, how, how do we tell if the wind is good enough to fly a kite? Well, when you're driving to the kite field, you look at McDonald's and schools and post offices and Chrysler dealerships and watch the flags. You don't have to run to fly a kite. That's a myth. If you have to run, there's not enough wind to fly a kite. Go make bubbles. What do you mean, make bubbles? Well, uh, some kite flyers use bubble machines to indicate what the ground wind is doing. Do you have one? Right here. Let's go look at it. Okay, so you want to see a bubble machine. Here yeah. it is. This is what I call a basic bubble machine. It's uh, made from a ice cube bin and a box turned upside down and a fan from an automotive store and another little geared motor and it runs off a 12 volt battery. Wow, this could have been a whole other segment. But you don't have to have a bubble machine to fly a kite. No, you don't have to, but it's fun. <laughs> and I love the way it looks. But it does show you what the ground wind is doing. At least that's the excuse I give. Being an adult, you need a serious reason to have something like this. Speaking of ground wind, it looks pretty good right now, folks. Let's go fly this kite. Well, let's go fly a kite. Okay, uh, you can watch the tail and see what the tail's doing. That gives you an idea of what the wind's doing. And right now, it's not doing very much. So, even if you just have one day to go out and fly a kite, it might not be ideal, right? Correct. Very frustrating sport this is, Felix. Particularly when you have a camera on it. <laughs> now it's going to fly back towards the camera. Oh. Not quite oh. enough. Okay, on 
On a day like today, there's a little bit of wind up top, but nothing down here. So we're going to try a long launch. Susan's going to walk the kite out to the middle of the field, and I'm going to maintain tension and try to pull the kite into the air. Okay. There go the bubbles. There goes the kite. Hey, Felix, look over there. There's somebody who really knows how to fly a kite. How's he do that? Nah, couldn't be. Oh, don't go away, friends. Home Matters will be right back.